Hello everyone, welcome back to Trek A Day, and today we have from the Star Trek Best Episode Collection from Japan, Volume 3, where we have Crossover and Year of Hell, Parts 1 and 2. So we have a Deep Space Nine and the very popular Voyager 2-parter, Crossover, one of the DS9 Mirror Universe episodes. The Deep Space Nine Mirror Universe episodes, to me, work well when you kind of watch them all together like as a whole they build a lot within that universe and they do a great job but none of them individually have really ever stuck out to me as being superbly strong they're all just good and they work well um, overall but never had quite the same impact as say like the original mirror mirror or in mirror darkly still really good episode and then we get into the better portion here with year of hell some of the best of voyager and something that you know the original concept was for this to last a season and that really would have been great because you know, again i've said a million times how voyager's strengths are also its weaknesses it's it's one of those shows that is a fantastic very tng feeling episodic star trek and i adore it it's one of my favorite television shows of all time but it also missed out by following that story structure on some of the potential of its concept of being lost and alone and surviving in some that the idea was a very Babylon 5 or Deep Space Nine story structure idea but the show then took more of a TNG style structure and really I think this was an interesting glimpse into how you know, different reality with this two-parter of what Voyager could have been like if it had taken on something tonal, tonally a little more akin to say like the Battlestar Galactica remake that would come eventually. So it's just an interesting glimpse into the Voyager that we could have had during the Voyager that we did get. Uh, and I think that's part of why it's so popular is that it works with both versions, uh, the, the that concept that was never used for Voyager and within the structure of what Voyager actually was, it worked really well as just a good standalone two-parter. So being an episode that works in both those fashions I think is why it's so popular. 